kind of nervous because we're going to be hitting the train during rush hour. It's like 6 o'clock. I think Juliana is still sleeping. Mia and I today visit Obachan and Ojichan, which means grandpa and grandma no. in Japanese. No. I love these days when it's just me and one of the girls. It gives me a chance to bond with them individually. And it's definitely way, way easier. Yes. Got my daddy bag packed. Let's go, my daddy bag. We're going to ride the train together. Maybe we'll even have a snack together. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, Alright, can you vlog? Vlog. Mm -hmm. Vlog. Uh, uh, don't. Oh, why you gotta put your. What is it about your finger being on this lens that's so tempting for you? $40 for them. Are they real? Yeah, they're real. Oh. She's trying to get confused because some displays are fake. My apple. Apple. Mm -hmm. I think it's real, Mom. Look, <gasps> it's it's funny. Wow. That was funny. No, I was funny. What? Onion rings. Oh, edamame it. salad. So I'm here to find one brand specifically, Hobonichi. I guess it's a very popular Japanese stationery brand. Bingo, we found it. Jackpot. Oh, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> okay, so there's a particular um, pattern that she's at. Oh, I think this is it. Is this A6? She said something like A6, or was it A5? Oh. Unfortunately, the one that she wanted is sold out. It is sold out online too. So I'm hoping that there's another store that sells Hobonichi. Uh, on the bright side, fun pens. Pens for days. There are aisles and aisles of pens. Who knew there would be a billion in one store? The cashier put a cushion on the handle so that it's like pleasant to walk around with. So nice. Hey, are you having fun? So Obachan has some goldfishes. She used to have one for like decades and these are new ones. <laughs> hey, Deca. Look, look. Look. Can you see it? See goldfishes. <laughs> Feed them. Feed them. Good job. I think that's good to me. Hello. <laughs> My Obachan's had goldfishes for as long as I can remember since I was a little kid. And she literally had some, I think they were like 20 years old, maybe older. Unfortunately, they died because they jumped out, I believe. I don't know how old these ones are, but I think they are pretty old. It's just, I love it. All right, can I just leave you here for three hours? Keep an eye on the fish. Are you guys ready for cuteness overload? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Don't put your finger inside, okay? You just look. Mm -hmm. Look at the parrot. Look at the parrot. 
Oh, look at that other one. That one looks like the chocolate bunnies that we eat. <laughs> eating, eating, eating. Oh, look, they're washing the doggy over here. Hey, Mia, are you having fun over there? She's laughing at me because the whole idea of vlogging is so weird to her. They're having lunch in this kid-friendly little cafe. It's super cute. They have little toys and books. Menu looks good. Can you have a toy? Yes, pancake. Mm. What did you get? Yeah, you got pancake. Yummy. I got a pizza toast. And I think this is corn soup. Um, and then Kira got, she's not really too fond of it, <laughs> but a potato sandwich with, um, it comes with like a little cake and her corn soup, which she actually likes. So tell me, what did you get? Uh, I finally got the Japanese curry. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese curry. We're pretty much done. The food was delicious. I really enjoyed the corn soup. Kira loved the pancake. We actually ended up buying another one because she didn't want to eat her sandwich. <laughs> No Bachan's doing a pour over for me. And today I'm so glad I asked her to make me a coffee because I almost wasn't going to drink coffee. I was just going to go somewhere and get coffee. But I was thinking, you know, I want the memory of my grandmother making me a cup of coffee. As simple as that is, I'm just going to cherish this for the rest of my life. I'm glad I did because it's a pour. Excited. Apple stuff. I love apple stuff in Japan. Very good. <laughs> Here, getting my dad some pajamas. My dad almost never asked for stuff, so I, I want to make sure to get this for him. She's been such a good girl. It's amazing. They're all by themselves. Totally different kids. Totally different. Thank you. Hi. Come on, come on, let's go. Mia, Mia, what do you say? <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. There you go, Dad. Got you what you wanted. Bye, Rome. You want to see Daddy? No. How about Mia? No. Want to see Daddy? No. You want to go for now? No. Do you love Mommy? Is it nap time? Yeah. Are you forgetting anything? Okay. Kisses. Oh, kisses. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Super speed. Just walking around Shinjuku looking for a gift. I was actually thinking this fruit store, I don't know, the way it's laid out, I thought it was going to be like a budget fruit store. Um, and it's customary to always buy a gift or something to give your host. Uh, because we're going to like a party tonight. So I thought maybe get some fruit and I thought this might be affordable right there About $20 per melon. And I thought that's not as bad as other places and then you see $50 per melon And then up there $100 for that package hundred bucks Hundred dollars. I think you get two of them Maybe but still a hundred dollars fruit must be a good melon. This is like the shopping area during the daytime. The one thing that's really unique with Japan, there's not only shops on the uh, ground level, but it goes all the way up the building. So almost every one of those signs typically is another 
store, another restaurant, and this one goes all the way to the eighth floor. Precious real estate. They don't got a lot of room here. I mean, it's, I'm thinking it's Fred. I don't know. Fred up there, Fred on a shirt, and he's tagging Fred on the wall. That's cool. It must be like his line of jewelry or something like that. <laughs> it's sandwich magic, and it's a hot seller. I better get it. Whenever people tell me they really want to go to Tokyo or Japan in general, I always tell them they should because I feel like it's such a safe place to travel to. I don't even think twice about coming here outside of the fact that my family's here. One thing I will say for anybody that's thinking about coming here, prepare yourself for the public transportation because it's really easy not only to get lost but like get on the wrong get on the wrong bus or train because they have different types of trains that skip stops uh, for example there's a one of the trains you ride there's this thing called uh, limited express which literally skips over like 25 stops so if you're looking to go somewhere and um, it's, it's right there on the same platform as the train you're supposed to get on. You might like be on that train for an hour or something. So if you can find someone you know that's familiar with the Japan, go with them. Or if there's like a tour company that actually shows you around, totally worth it. Can you believe this is a subway slash train station? Just about anything you could want to eat. Seriously, there's tons and tons of food here. Ooh, something grilled. Looks like Chinese food? Yeah, Chinese food. And even this fake food looks so good. It hot. I just opened up this teddy bear food truck. I was hoping there'd be like little teddy bear faces, but they didn't have it. But it's still really cute. They're like pink and green inside. Furukake is just like a rice seasoning, and I put it over hot rice and um, egg. The girls are just gonna eat a bit. We're actually going to a friend's. Well, actually, how does this work? She is my cousin. <coughs> friend's hey. cousin That's and right. anyway so when she found out we were coming to tokyo she's like yeah you guys we should get together you want to hear something kind of funny <laughs> so i told you that i you know i'm japanese so i have to bring something over tell me if you want a dessert or a uh -huh. dish right and she goes no no really we got so much and um, i'm filipino so you already know there's gonna be too much food <laughs> That's true. That is so funny. So you, she was really sweet. I met her several months ago when I was in Vancouver. I'm excited to see her again. And she's half better? Filipino and half Japanese. I'm kind of nervous because we're going to be hitting the train during rush hour. It's like 6 o'clock and uh, the train ride is like 20 minutes. We're going to go to the party. Dinner party. Love with this puppy. Whoa! <laughs> His name is uh, Deco. <laughs> Was it you, I, that prepared all this? Oh my gosh! I just prepared this delicious meal. Oh yeah. Sister, they're sisters, and this is you, and that's I. So this is um. Huh? Nabe. The hot pot that looks good with a, a udon noodles, tempura, shrimp tempura, and sashimi. Mmm, this is gonna be my first sashimi on this whole trip. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't eat any sushi this whole trip. It's called like a roll. Timaki sushi. It's like you do it by yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, a California roll? Yes. <laughs> 
what she probably thought of me when she made the California roll. That's so funny. Because you don't see it here in no, Tokyo, no, no. right? Daddy, daddy. Oh, oh, don't eat it. No, 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 that's the bird doggy. Wow, this is just way more than we could have ever expected. Are you going to share with me? You want to? Actually, it's too much sugar. It's too much sugar. Mama, thank you. 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 Thank she wanted to make it clear that daddy had his own in front of him. She was like, right. Are you all done? No. No. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. Do you want some? Concentrating so hard. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Do it no. yourself. She wants to do it. Miss Independence. Maybe a spoon. A little better. I think she likes chopsticks. She likes the yeah. chopsticks. She's learning. <laughs> I designed this. Wow! And oh my gosh! This one. I think these are for twins, but I, but I don't know if they're. Oh, they're so pretty. These are for twins. Oh. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. To Juliana, what happened to her? Oh no, what do you call that in uh, Tagalog? Ma arte, so ma arte, seriously, so ma arte. Oh, 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 careful, Juliana, you're gonna see dad's face. Whoa. Yeah, I think it's very... This is very Filipino. Yeah. Very Filipino. Oh, the gazebo, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous up here. There you go. What's your name? Drops, drops. Hey, share. You share drums. Share drums. Hey, mommy put it down here. Really? Back, back to our little humble abode. <laughs> we had so much fun and it was so great hanging out with you and having that delicious like grand dinner. The girls sure did have fun because they got to run around. Anyways, we're going to call it a night and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye guys. Thank you. Ooh, that's some dark miso. Oh, wow, it expands. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It's Japanese tofu. Oh, yeah. It's this sauce. Hi. Yes, condiment. Serene in here is so weird because we're not used to eating breakfast so peacefully. It's just literally. Actually, no, I want it later. I'm gonna taste this first. Oh no, Veggie broke his suitcase. Oh, Why do you think it's broken? Did it? Alright. No, he just.
Let's meet up.